In the previous video, we have computed the momentum of the pion. P was equal to 0 0.994 in 10 to the minus 19 joules over meter per second. Now we have to convert this quantity in the units adopted in particle physics. That is to say, in electron volts over C. To carry out the conversion, we have to remember that 1 joule corresponds to 1 over 1.6 in 10 to the 19 electron volts. And that 1 meter per second is given by the ratio between the speed of light in meter per second and 3 in 10 to the 8. The speed of light in meter per second is 3 in 10 to the 8 dividing by the same amount we get 1 meter per second. From these relations we have that 1 joule over meter per second corresponds to 1 over 1.6 in 10 to the 19 electron volts times 3 in 10 to the 8 divided by C. From the ratio between 3 and 1.6 we get 1.875 and multiplying the powers of 10, we get 10 to the 27 electron volt over C. Therefore, to convert the momentum units in electron volt over C, we have to substitute joule over meter per second with this conversion factor. Doing this, we get for the momentum P a value given by 0 0.994 times 1.875 that is 1.86 and multiplying the powers of 10 we have 10 to the 8 electron volt over C. This is the momentum of the particle expressed in the units of particle physics. Now we have to go back to the interactive application that is available to you on the site Polylab at home. The starting scenario should be like this. The three trajectories approximating the tracks are defined with the average curvature radii you have determined in the previous activities. To achieve this configuration you have to act like this. Let's assume the average curvature radius of the helium that you have evaluated before is equal to 4 arbitrary units. Then you will drag point F until the curvature radius that you see at the top left takes the value of nearly 4. You can consider yourself satisfied with a precision to the first figure after the decimal point. Once the average values of the radii have been set, at least at the first figure after the decimal point, we have to fill these empty fields entering keyboard values. We have to enter the values of the momenta of the three particles expressed in 10 to the 8 electron volt over C. For instance, if the momentum of the incoming pion turned out to be 1.86 in 10 to the 8 electron volt over C, in the field of the incoming pion, the blue one, we will write 1.86. 10 to the 8 is implied. Beware that the values I've written and that I'm going to write are just for demonstration purposes. I assume that the helium momentum is 
0.9 in 10 to the 8 electron volt over C and that the momentum of the pion scattered by the collision is 1.1 in 10 to the 8 electron volt over C. Once this is done, we can ask the application to visualize the vectors representing the momenta of the particles involved in this event. By clicking on this box, the total initial momentum vector will appear, corresponding to the momentum of the incoming pion alone as the helium momentum before the collision is negligible if compared with the pion momentum. I click on this box and the vector representing the total initial momentum appears, which is the momentum of the incoming pion. This vector turns out to be tangent to the trajectory of the pion in the vertex of interaction and has a length equal to the value we have entered here. For instance, if I change this value to 0 0.5, you can see that the vector becomes shorter. By clicking in the box below, you have the opportunity to visualize the momenta of the particles after the collision. Therefore, the helium momentum and the momentum of the pion scattered upwards. Here they are. Again, they are tangent to the circles in the interaction vertex and their lengths are given by the value you will enter, which are based on your own calculations. By clicking in the box further below, you will visualize the total final momentum, given by the sum of these two vectors, the green one and the orange one. In this way, you will have the opportunity to inquire if the momentum conservation law at subnuclear scales still holds.